welcome to Rovers TV and the Big Fellas Stadium for this Round 9 Kingston Press Championship clash between Featherstone Rovers and London Broncos. Today's sponsors, big match sponsor Jack2, associate match sponsor The Bradley Arms, match ball sponsor SD Landscapes and man of the match sponsor Green Door Self Star. Team lineups for today, Featherstone Rovers number one Ian Hardman, number two James Duckworth, number three Chris Alinia, number four Missy Talapapa, number five Luke Briscoe, number seven Anthony Thackeray, number 31 Corey Aston, number 10 Andy Bostock, number nine Keel Carlisle, number 32 Jordan Baldwinson, number 11 Michael Knowles, Number 12, John Davis. Number 21, James Lockwood. On the interchange, number 8, Daryl Griffin. Number 19, Matty Wilde. Number 16, Luke Cooper. And number 33, Mikolai Oledsky. Head coach, John Sharp. London Broncos, number 1, Elliot Keir. Number 2, Reese Williams. 3, Ben Helliwell. 4, Adrian Pertel. 5, Kieran Dixon. 6, Jared Samet. 19, Api Pawirangi, 23, Matthew G, 9, James Cunningham, 18, Ben Evans, 11, Daniel Harrison, 12, Matt Garside, 13, Jay Pitts, 33, Louis Foster, 22, Matthew Davis, and 10, Mark Ayoane, 16, Vitali Rokika, head coach Andrew Henderson. Today's referee is Ben Thaler. It's the last tackle now. London not made much uh, much room forward, and it has passed out to the left. A uh, crowd shout forward, but it's not given, and the kick's put in now. It's been chased by Briscoe, but it's uh, gone round him, and it looks as though this could be a London. Oh no! But London knock on over the line. It was uh, a close call, that Ben. That was a close call. I so thought. Much strength in that second row, the Broncos have got. Here it comes across now, and uh, almost face it was a trip, and he's going for ten minutes. Is Anthony Thackeray, I think, for a trip on Api Pawirangi. Yeah, it, it looked um, suspiciously like a trip as Pawirangi by Aston. It comes into the middle now. Pawirangi out to Kia, Kia to Pertel. Pertel, Alunya wraps him up very well, though. That's a good tackle by Alunya on What's Pertel. It? What comes it? across now to the left to Puirangi. Puirangi across and it. There's uh, space here. That's a try for Jared Samet. We've seen him do that so often. He was in space. That extra man making all the difference here. Was it? Eyeing the sticks up. Taking a while to take this kick. <laughs> Time's off and uh, the ball goes through the middle. So that's Featherstone Rovers nil. London Broncos six after 15 minutes of play. Uh, 25 metres away from the London line, Bostock. Bostock going forward, he gets the ball away to Lockwood. Lockwood, with a little bit of space, makes it up to 12 metres away from the London line. And it comes across to Knowles, it's a quick play, the ball goes to Alunya, but Patel with a good tackle there on Alunya, it's a last tackle. It's a slow play, the ball to Knowles, to Thackeray. Thackeray puts a little kick over the top, he's going for the crossbar again, and the ball's missed by... Or is it a try? It's a try! I think it's John Davis who eventually came up with that. I thought that the ball had sailed over the top of both Davis and the London defender but, and gone dead, but it didn't. It went over the top of their heads and Davis managed to pounce on it. Anthony Thackeray there showing his worth there with a superb kick towards the sticks. It was the placement of the kick, Joanna. I did see Ian Harman talking to the referee in back play before. Corey Aston there is successful with that kick, so it's Featherstone Rovers 6, London Broncos 6 after 19 minutes of play. It's away, our London comes across into the middle with Samet. Samet's going to put a little kick to that corner, and uh, the ball's uh, put into Talapapa's arms, who, who manages to run away with it and uh, gets the ball away to Hartman. Hartman then uh, to Duckworth. So, good play by Featherstone Rovers there. Duckworth holds on to the ball. Um, Ball comes to Wildy at dummy half. Uh, it goes out to the middle to Griffin. Griffin offloads it to Aston. Aston gets it out to the right and Patala Papa with a superb pass to Briscoe. Briscoe to the ball to Hartman. Oh, Hartman's hauled down by Kia though. A few metres away from the line. It goes to Davis on the charge. He's held up over the, just short of the line. So 
Davis going to play this ball. Superb pass by Italo Papa. We'll come back to that in a minute. To Aston now in the middle. Goes to Oledski. Oledski's tackled. It's the last tackle. So it comes across now to Aston. Aston with a bullet pass to, to Lockwood to Alunya. Alunya is over for a try. Superb play from Featherstone Rovers. Moving the ball across. First of all, thread it over on that far side to break down that right-hand side, to pass from Hardman, the quick pass from Talapapa out to Briscoe. Briscoe well tackled, the ball swung back left, through the hands it went and it found its way to Alunya. And Alunya, the defence had been sucked in field and Alunya could have fit two double ducky buses in that gap then, straight over the line. Players and wrap him up though. Comes to Thackeray, Thackeray to Ka Aston. Aston with a, there's a high tackle on him there uh, by Matt Garside, I do believe, and the referee saw it immediately. I think he'll have felt that. I think he and London are on a team warning now. I think the referee's just had enough because he's only just spoken to Daniel Harrison, hasn't he? And the referee says, come on. And I guess this would be a kickable one for Corey Aston to take, so they'll be going for the Tervers fans. But for me, he's been playing well and the kick comes in and it's successful is that penalty kick so featherston rovers further extend the lead it's uh, featherston rovers 12 london broncos six with five minutes remaining in this first half. count is wiped and uh duckworth now from dummy half takes it himself but london players in well don't forget london on a team warning so they need to be careful in defense luke briscoe pushes off the first players and he pushes off again and Luke Bross goes through. Luke Bross goes through and he gets the ball away and it's a try for the Sun Rovers in with Corey Aston. What a great try just before half time. What a fantastic break that was from Featherstone Rovers. Duckworth first of all from Aston half made about five or six metres. He was tackled. Briscoe came in on the next phase. From out in half again, through a gap, made 30 metres before he had Corey Aston on his shoulder on the inside with a straight run for the line. The defence couldn't get back. And as you say, Joanne, right on half time, that's massive in the context of this game. And in fact, there goes the half time Hooter. And it's Featherston Row with 16, London Broncos 6, with a kick to come. He goes forward to take it. And it's through the middle, so Featherstone Rovers on the half-time hooter with that try and conversion. Puts Featherstone in quite a commanding lead. Featherstone Rovers, 18, London Broncos, 6. Helly well attacked in half back. Swings the ball into Samet. Samet puts the kick across. Rovers make a mess of that one. And here goes Ioni. And the Broncos have got the first points of the second half. It's the wrong side for Summit, the right footed kicker. And here goes the kick. Straight between the uprights that goes. So we've had three minutes of the second half already. And it's Featherston Rovers 18, London Broncos 12. Feeds that scrum out to the base by Matty Wildey. And here's that first drive in from Alunya. Gets up to the 40. Quick play, the ball to Wildy. Wildy through a gap. Oh, just held on there from the Broncos. Aston now finds Davis. Davis takes on the line. He's wrapped up 35 metres out, centre field. Wildy to Thackeray now. Thackeray with the inside pass to Baldwin, sends back on. And the Broncos are offside. And the Broncos are on a team warning. 25 metres out, centre field. There's the kick. Straight between the uprights it goes. So with nine minutes gone in the second half, here at the Big Fellas Stadium, it's Featherston Rovers 20, London Broncos 12. Plays the ball to Tala Papa of all people who has a scoot. He's held up ten meters, eight meters away, sorry. Wielding now from acting half finds Bostock! Bostock! Andy Bostock is over for Featherston Rovers under the sticks. The ball came into the middle there, didn't it? And who do you want to be on the end of that, that pass? But Andy Bostock with his big frame. I thought he was looking to pass at first, but he actually spun round, didn't.
Just 360 degree and put the ball down under those sticks. Mistake from him that's put Featherston in his position. Aston now is successful with that conversion. So that's Featherston Rovers 26, London Broncos 12. Daylight between the two teams once again. Sakri again. Shows it once and then moves it out to Alunya. Alunya is over for Featherston Rovers. And we've got 18 and a half minutes gone. Rovers 30, London Broncos 12. Great stuff there, wasn't it, by Featherston Rovers. Thackeray with the ball out to Chris Alunya. Chris Alunya showed his strength and Pertell. Broncos on halfway, then Cunningham moves it out wide. An inside pass. And here's Cunningham again now. Cunningham finds Samet. Samet well wrapped up. He gets the ball away to Cunningham again. Cunningham to Kia. Kia to Helliwell now. Helliwell going for that line. Offloads the pass. And the Broncos still keeping it going somehow. And Cunningham is over for a try for London Broncos. We've got 11 and a half minutes left. Featherston Rovers 30, London Broncos 16. So then Jared Samet then with the conversion attempt. Straight between the uprights, that one goes. We've got 10 minutes left here at the Big Fella Stadium. It's Featherston Rovers 30, London Broncos 18. Zachary now. Alechki again. Still going is Alechki. And there's a penalty. Here comes Aston now. Straight between the uprights it goes. We've got seven and a half minutes left here at the Big Fella Stadium. It's Featherston Rovers 32. London Broncos 18. Gets Rovers up to the Broncos 40. Aston. That kick off the Broncos. Here's Briscoe. It's back to one. Still going Briscoe. That's a high tackle. That was an awful tackle from the Broncos by Lewis Foster. It certainly was. I think Luke Briscoe felt the foo force. In the bin Lewis, he goes. Lewis Foster's going to go into the sim bin there for that high tackle on Briscoe. Carlisle brings it right to Aston, swings it out to Knowles. Knowles has switched sides, I think, at the minute. Carlisle tries to go himself, but good defence from the Broncos to push him back. He's in Talapapa's position, is Knowles, isn't he? That right centre. Knowles, oh! It's all on! He's going to give this try, you know. I thought, I thought that Luke Briscoe had not that on, but Rovers are over, Joe. I think there was a London hand in there, wasn't there? Well, that pass of John Davis, he says anything Missy Telepapa can do, I can do as well, sir. So, what a great pass from John Davis out to that right hand side. It did look as though uh, the ball had come well, loose. Maybe a meet, half a metre in from touch. Corey Aston then with this conversion attempt. There's the kick. Has he got it? No, it's just, he has, you know. Corey Aston with the conversion. So Rovers then with a couple of minutes left on the clock. It's Featherston Rovers 38, London Broncos 18. And the results from the Round 9 Kingston Press Championship are Toulouse 58, Oldham 18, Batley 38, Rochdale 36, Bradford 48, Sheffield 16, Featherston Rovers 38, London 18, Halifax 34, Dewsbury 6, Swinton 18, Hull KR 52. Featherston Rovers remain third with 14 points, Hull KR still top the table.